in Twitch tonight. I hope everybody's having a good day. We are back into our next episode of Grand Tactician Civil War, playing as the Confederacy. And this is going to be episode number 12 of The Good Old Boys, where we are following the Hazard County Volunteers from Hazard County, Georgia, under the command of Lucas Beauregard Duke, who is now a Brigadier General. Now, when we finished up our last episode, we had just won a series of victories here in Central Tennessee, where we finally got into some battles with all of these uh, federal corps that had come down into Tennessee from Kentucky, and we managed to fight them off. So we've still got, it looks like the remnants of a little action. We've got one unit here that is probably routing and we've got a couple of other corps that are trying to probably get reorganized back up on the border. So we may need to deal with those guys again here shortly. So we're going to keep them in mind. And if we come over here to Virginia, we had fought a series of battles also up in northern Virginia. And we're trying to let our corps get their, reor get their uh, readiness back up. Because we had done a few, some some forced marches, a couple of forced marches in the middle of winter back and forth across Virginia. But it had been successful because we managed to fight off one of the Yankee Corps out of the Shenandoah Valley. And then march back across northern Virginia and fight off another corps. And I know that there are also about two or three more federal corps that are over here in Maryland and the uh, in the Maryland area and the Delaware area so we're probably going to be seeing some action with them so I am going to get the clock moving here as we try to let our armies recover it is still let's see we are into March late March uh, so there is still some snow on the ground and let's give our let's give our units a little chance to to get their readiness up here I don't think, let's see here now, before I go back over to Tennessee, let me take a look at this core right here. Who is this? This is 4th Corps with 21,000. I've got the Army of Northern Virginia here, but they've got about 2,500 casualties and also their readiness they're in the yellow we've also got the army of Shenandoah their readiness is in the yellow and my army of the Rappahannock their readiness was just killed I cannot get their readiness back up here I may need to try and move them down here closer to supply let me let me see if I can move them down a little closer to that supply depot and I'm going to get General Stewart's cavalry up here near this supply depot. And we're going to get ready for this corps and also their reinforcements that I know that they have back here in the Washington area. Not much else is going on over here in the mountain area. It looks like they do still have a corps right here. That has not gotten out of Tennessee yet. He's got 21,000 men there. We've got good readiness in this army. I think I'm going to go ahead and see if I can chase this guy on out of here. Let's move up to this crossing up here. We've got the Army of Tennessee here. I'm going to bring the Army of Tennessee up into this area where we've got supply and I'm going to let the army of Tanucky guard we're going to keep them on hand if we need them he may try to come back down into Nashville again so I may keep oh he's got that's a command level okay this is a core level command he's got 30 28,000 there and he's got 16,000 there. Okay. All right. So we're going to do a little maneuvering here. 
Still nothing going on over here in Missouri, though he is beginning to get a few more core over here. So there may we may have some concern there. Eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand. Let's see if we can get something else. All right, we've got some. We've got some conscripts here. Planes, rifle, mixed muskets. Let's upgrade their weapons if possible. We'll give the, give them the Springfield rifle muskets. I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys on into the into the division. And let's upgrade their weapons as well. We'll give them some planes, rifles, and and we'll upgrade these guys to just some reboard muskets there. I need to save some of my better weapons for some of my other armies that are more involved in the battles right now. Who is this down here? Okay, yeah, there's my engineers. Let's upgrade them real quick. And let's see if they can build me a, a telegraph station. Yes. Okay. All right. So we've got the Army of Mississippi coming here. Let's bring them on down and see if we can run this core out of Tennessee. 59,000, 17,000. Okay, I'm going to let him get his readiness back up there. While that's going on, let's make sure we're not fixing to get surprised over here in Virginia. Everybody's still trying to get their readiness improved here. The army of the Rappahannock, I am not... I'm not happy with them at all. I'm going to bring the Army of Northern Virginia on over into Culpeper. Let's get Culpeper back under our control. This army is very happy. Let's see if anybody needs reinforcements. I think all of the brigades are in good shape. They're all up to full strength. Elsie could use some reinforcements. Let's give Elsie reinforcements and let's upgrade his weapons to the Springfield rifle muskets. And let's get General Johnson, another brigade of cavalry units here. Let's get him some, let's see, Kentucky, Louisiana. We've got North Carolina. We've got, oh, there's lots of Missouri volunteers. I need to get these Missouri volunteers. Oh, we got Maryland. Plenty of Maryland, too. But no Virginia. I cannot get Virginia. All right. I'm going to get. I'll get some Maryland boys. Let's get some Maryland. Let's give them some decent weapons here. Yeah, we've got some of these Burnside carbines we need, we need to use. So we'll get some of those. We've actually got some reinforcing conscripts right here. I'm going to go ahead and get them under the command of General Johnston as well. And we do have some conscripts 
here. Let's go through all of these armies and see how our weapon situation is. Before I get distracted, and I know I need to go look at the army of Shenandoah because they definitely need to get their weapons upgraded. I want to eyeball them for sure. And I think that's where our Hazard County volunteers are as well. So let's go through all of these brigades. Yeah, yeah. See, we got mixed muskets here. Let's get these boys some Mississippi rifles. Mississippi rifles. Reboard muskets. See if anybody else has mixed muskets here. Yeah, let's upgrade these Springfield muskets to reboard musket to uh, let's give yeah, let's do the reboard muskets. We'll give these conscripts some Springfield muskets. Okay. Now he does need more cavalry. So let me get him one more cavalry unit up here for his core. Let's get him some West Virginia boys. I think, yeah, we do have some West Virginia volunteers. So we'll get him some West Virginia volunteers there we go we'll give them these Burnside carbide carbines here okay does anybody need reinforcements looks like wise could use some reinforcements Barlow could use some reinforcements. Okay. Oh, I think I, we must have transferred uh, the division that has the Hazard County Volunteers over to the Army of Northern Virginia. Yeah, here they are right here. So they are a one-star level veteran brigade. They could probably stand to get a few reinforcements. I'll give him, yeah, we'll give him some reinforcements. That gets him back up to full strength. All right, the Hazard County Volunteers, the good old boys, will probably get them into some action here shortly hopefully before long i think we're going to try and go after this core here see if we can run them on out of northern virginia let's check our projects here we've got that civil order project that's been hanging around forever i may just go ahead and get rid of that go ahead and do it yeah let's just do it so i don't have to look at it anymore Okay, let's let our armies continue to rest and recuperate over here. What have we got going on right here? They've got 8,000 men. He's got 19,000 men, but it's bad weather over here in Western Virginia. So we're going to let that rest for now. Okay, are we moving? Yeah, we're moving over here. We're going to try to run these guys on out. And then maybe come up here and deal with the remainder of what they've got left. So we're going to come across the Tennessee River here with the Army of Mississippi under Henry R. Jackson, Lieutenant General Jackson. Let's look at his army while he's marching. He's got a pretty good force here. We do need to do something about all these mixed muskets, though. Well, we can upgrade to at least the Springfield muskets. Reboard muskets. Reboard planes rifle. Okay. 
I think we're relatively arm well armored enough here. Yeah, and this is the this is our Tennessee our Texas division here. Does anybody need reinforcements? I think we're good. I think everybody's good in this army. Okay. He's trying to get across the river here. This is probably going to be costly to his readiness. Yeah, he's he's leaving. He's withdrawing. I hate how they withdraw deeper into my territory, though. What's he got in that core there? That's 21,000 men. I don't think I need all of these divisions in the west, in the Mississippi army just right now let's let's transfer our texas division over to the army of tennessee if i can find it here there we go let's transfer hardy's division over to polk's command That'll still leave 40,000 men in the Army of Mississippi, which is plenty. Still way more than we need to chase after this fleeing corps right here. So let's just stay on their tail. Okay, he is up to, he will have 70,000 whenever the Texas Division links back up with him. That should be enough to start, start a foray up here into Kentucky. And we also have the Army of Tenucky here that we can also utilize. Do I want to bring them up? I'm going to bring them up. Okay, so we've got those guys on the run over there. Still trying to get our readiness up over here. All right, who is not happy? We've got, this is our glorious brigade under the command of Pelham. I know these guys have to be happy. There can't be them that's unhappy. They're, they should be fine. They should be fine. This unit should be fine. They should be fine. They should also be fine. They should be fine. They should be fine. Here we go. LZ. Right, these guys are probably not happy, but I believe I went over this last episode. I don't have anybody available to replace him right now that would be worthy of that brigade. Yeah, I am low on commanders right now. Let me look at my... Let's look at our lieutenant colonels. We've got some... Decent lieutenant colonels with three stars. If I see anybody with three stars at their current level, I always go ahead and give them a promotion. Butler deserves a promotion. Let's look through our majors real quick. Just real quick. Oh, okay. Long looks good. He's got three stars in administration. I'm going to go ahead and give him a promotion. Oh, Jones. Jones has got three stars all across the board. That 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 merits a promotion all the way up to Brigadier General. 
and I'm going to assign him LZ's brigade because he should be perfect for that brigade. Okay. They should be happy with him. He's got fame. He's very well liked. Look at this guy. This guy is going to be a division commander eventually. Very happy with him. Let's look through these other brigades. This br br Brown's brigade. They may not be happy with him. Why don't we give them some reinforcements and let's see if we can pull that down a little bit. Okay, they're still, they're still high quality veterans. I don't think I can do any better for them for, than Brown right now. They may have to just be happy with Brown. These guys may not be happy with Waitman either. But I don't have anybody at that level right now. And, of course, then there's our Hazard County Volunteers. They should be happy with Lucas. Uh, he's got fa relative fame to match his unit, so they should definitely be happy with him. So we're going to keep him where he is as well. I'm going to go through my cavalry commanders. Oh, this cavalry brigade may not be happy with Barton. don't have anybody to replace him though but he looks so good in everything else he just isn't very famous he just doesn't have the fame that these that these uh these guys want would want to have with that many stars of veterancy right there but they're just gonna have to they're gonna have to be satisfied with it i can't do anything about it right now I can't do anything about it right now. How is AP Hill doing? I'm going to bring him on back down to Richmond just in case they try to bust some kind of move on me. Which I don't think is going to happen. <laughs> All right. Where did that army end up going? I'm going to go ahead and send Pillow out to search for them They and make sure they, they have left the area completely. That's a headquarters unit right there. They do have a bad habit of retreating deeper into my territory, which annoys me to no end. Magruder is at his destination. Okay. I might need to get Magruder over into Tennessee. There they go. Right there. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's very good. So they are leaving which means I probably am free to do something with these guys. Now, I think I need to get Magruder back over into Virginia. He is a one of my Virginia generals, and I really need to get my Virginia generals in Virginia somehow, some way. So let me see if there is anybody I can replace him with real quick yeah I need him in Virginia Freaking Ridge McCullough is there anybody available I have no body let's see we've got is there anybody in this army that can take his place We've got Breckenridge looks good, and we've got McCullough. It's probably going to, yeah, he's a major general too, so it's probably going to have to be Breckenridge. So let's, let's 
Let's give him a promotion. He deserves a promotion. Little looks pretty good. Who is available here? We've got LZ and we've got Grigsby. I'm going to give that division to Grigsby. And I'm going to replace Magruder with Breckenridge. Okay, and I'm going to try and find a place to get Breckenridge back into my Virginia armies. I've got to get my war support in Virginia back up somehow. Can I give him something in the Army of the Rappahannock? We've got early. Can I give him a division over here? I know. How about one of these units that was unhappy? Who did we, who were we looking at? We were looking at I think this division here. Let's see if we can get Magruder in here. There he is. Ah, he's, he's actually less famous though. But he looks good in all these other categories. Well, he is Virginian, so I'm going to give him the I'm going to give him the uh, brigade anyway. These men were already unhappy, so I'm not losing anything by giving them Magruder, but I am gaining the fact that I am getting a Virginia general in here. Okay, so we get him into the Army of Northern Virginia. I've got to work on my war support here in Virginia. Okay. All right, here we go. Now we've got, we're seeing this. There's 22,000 men there. That's the headquarters unit. 22,000 men. We've got 27,000 men. Okay, Breckenridge, bring your bring your core on up to this plantation here. And I'm going to bring the Army of Tennessee across the river. We're going to bring the Army of Mississippi back over here to the supply depot. Army of Mississippi back over here to the supply depot. We're going to start we're going to start maneuvering against these guys up here. See what we can do up into Kentucky. Maybe have us a little adventure in Kentucky. And we may have another battle of Manassas here, except I can't get my readiness any better in these armies. Beauregard's army is improving a little bit. General Stewart's corps is not doing great. Well, the weather is just bad, too, so. Yeah, they're still not happy with the weather. We're still in late March. Uh, I'm going to speed the time up just ever so slightly. Try to get the readiness up of these of these core. Yeah, there looks like they're getting out of there. He's trying to get that headquarters unit on out. Yeah, they are they're withdrawing. Come on, a little bit closer, Breckenridge. Keep moving in their direction. I want to run that second corps out of there. Army of Tennessee. 
Okay, here comes the Army of Mississippi along behind us. All right, Breckenridge, ease closer to him, please. And uh, General Proke, bring your men further on up. Boy, he's just going crazy with that headquarters unit. Yeah, they're withdrawing. He's withdrawing out that second core. All right, I'm going to bring Breckenridge on up to the railroad. We're going to bring the Army of Mississippi across the river. He still has that headquarters there. I don't know why. Yeah, okay, he's finally getting that out of there. Okay, that makes sense. Now, he is bringing everybody back to the same area, though. Let's see, 17,000. That's 44. That's 54. And then, so he's still got 60, 70, close to 80,000 men up there. Okay, I'm going to drop a quick save in case there are shenanigans. Everybody is getting to their destinations. I'm going to have to do something quickly if I'm going to do it while I have good readiness in these armies. So I'm going to let them rest for just a day or, a day or so. And let me look at my readiness over here. Okay, we are in the green with the Army of Northern Virginia. Just barely. Just barely. All right, we're going to try and run this core out of Virginia. Let's see if he'll retreat on out. I want the Army of the Rappahannock to get their readiness back up, though. I don't like this core hanging out here in Manassas. I want them gone. Yeah, he's backing off. He's backing off already. Oh, oh, he didn't get out quickly enough, though. All right, so we're going to take on that core as well as two other unknown core, which are really far away. But our reinforcements are relatively close by, so this ought to be fun. Let's go ahead and fight this battle. I think this is about the fourth or fifth battle of Manassas that we will have fought in this, in this game. It's just such a strategic strategic location. Yep, Manassas Junction. So he has forty one thousand men with with reinforcements that are far away. I think we will outnumber him, and our reinforcements will be close at hand. Yeah, we've got a pretty good number here under General Longstreet. Now, um, you know, some time ago I replaced General Lee with General Longstreet in the Army of Northern Virginia because for some reason General, General Lee's fame was diminishing, which I never could quite figure out why, so I replaced him with Longstreet. I may go ahead and put General Lee back in command of this army for no other reason than because General Lee is Virginian even though the men may not be happy with his level of fame I, I'm more worried about Virginia right now than I'm worried about the army so I may need to go ahead and put General Lee back in charge Okay, so we have a meeting engagement. They are coming in from the northeast up here. They will probably get control get control of the objective. 
They will probably get control of the objective before we do. They're probably going to be starting just right here on it anyway, somewhere around here. So they'll already be on top of it. So we probably want to just take our time, try to find a safe place to get across the river, and then come at them. In fact, it may... I tell you what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to have to use my cavalry here and to just figure out the safest place to cross the river. We don't have to get in a hurry. Let's just take our time. Uh, so let's put... General Smith, let's line you up on this road. General Hood, we'll line you up on this road back here. Line you up on this road right there. Here's our cavalry. Want one unit of cavalry to go up this road, another unit of cavalry to go up that road. And Mountain, let's send you up this road. Explore up that way for us. This is going to be our conscripts. We'll just put them there in the middle. And then we've got Wheeler. Wheeler, I'm going to put you on this road back here. And then we've got our artillery. We'll Let's put our artillery right here. We'll go either way with them. And General Longstreet, let's put you let's put you here in the middle as well. All right. We'll get time ticking and let's before we move anything, let's send our let's send our cavalry forward and do some scouting here before we try to to move the army. Let's get them moving. Uh, speed this up a little bit while the cavalry goes and explores. I either, I really would love to cross down here. I can go this way or I can go this way. We'll just have to see where they are. Uh, I, th I thought I sped this up. Let's speed this up while we wait on the cavalry to go scout it out for us here. If I can get across over here, this is where I want to cross. It looks good so far. Okay, Barton. Cross the river. Let me see what it looks like, please. Okay, I think I can start moving. Smith, start bringing your boys and cross the river. I, I, I want you to cross the river. Yeah, just cross the river there. Hood, bring your boys on across the river here. Wheeler, you just start moving in this general direction here. You're going to come in behind him. Wharton, bring your artillery along this way over here to the far right. Yeah, I think we'll just cross this way and just start working our way across land. And we do have reinforcements coming as well, so... Mountain, why don't you go get on that hill right there? I'm a little surprised that they haven't already taken the objective. I would have thought that they would have already been on top of it. That they would have already been on top of it by now.
I may can get Wheeler across balls forward right here if there is no threat to him. In fact, yeah, uh, Frost, get on up there and let me see if there's no threat. I don't think there's a threat. Wheeler, man, do I want to take that risk? He'll be so exposed if I do that. Do I really want to take that risk? Smith. Ah, I don't want to bring Smith way over here to the right. Smith, just come on across that plane right there. Wheeler, bring your, bring your boys across the river. Just bring your boys on across the river, Wheeler. Hood. He's coming on up to Blackburn's Ford. Why don't you just come on through Blackburn's Ford? Keep coming up the road there. Walker, keep bringing your artillery up. Uh, General Longstreet. You come along behind Wheeler and you bring the conscripts with you, please. Usually the general keeps up with them himself. He doesn't have to be told to, to do anything. Frost, getting a little closer to the objective. See what, let me see what's going on there. Barton, you come on further as well. Smith, just bring your boys on up to the to the main road. Everybody's moving fine. We're getting across country well. Uh, Frost is coming up. I'm a little surprised that they're not on the objective yet. That's going to be tough on the AI. Okay, Hood, keep bringing, keep bringing your boys on around, General Hood. Wheeler, keep coming up. Frost, you were already supposed to be up there. Donaldson, why don't you come over this way? And General Longstreet, get on up here closer. General Longstreet, get on up here closer to the center of the army. Boy, I'm spread out right now. Very, very strung out and spread out. If they were in a good position, they could take advantage of that. Okay, my reinforcements have arrived. It looks like his reinforcements have also arrived. It looks like we are going to be seated the objective. Which means that I have the opportunity to set up defenses. <sighs> What do I want to do there? Well, I've already got some fences set up here that I can utilize. I think I'm going to go ahead and utilize those. So, and he's coming from this way up here, supposedly. So I probably only need to worry about this flank here. I've got fences to protect me from that direction. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do our, I'm not going to do parapets. I'm not going to do parapets. I'm just going to go ahead and do breastworks. So we will do some breastworks at that angle right there. And, yeah, we're just going to have to count on that. That's going to have to do. All right, so General Hood, let's put you on the right flank over here. With your boys, I tell you what, let's get you in 
double line order. We'll put Cook right there. Oop, he gets an upgrade too. Yes. We'll put Manigault there. Villapo, why don't you get over here and you can... Can he not work on those... You get there. Hold on. Let's get these guys lined up correctly. And General Hood, get your men firing long range, please. Yes. All right. We're going to get Smith's Brigade right here in the middle with uh, the Hazard County Volunteers. So we're going to set them up on this fence line right here. Whoops. Wrong fence line. I want you to get on that fence, please. Yeah, get on that fence. No, get on that fence, please. Yeah. Yeah, okay, get on that fence. And you get... They're having... I'm having trouble putting... These double fences are messing me up here. I want you on that first... Okay, hold on. I want you on that fence there. Come on. God. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Line up however you want to. How about that? You just line up the way you want to line up. Okay, and General Smith, get your boys firing long range. All right, now we've got Wheeler here. Wheeler. We're going to hold you in reserve. Whichever direction. Uh, let's get your entire division here, Wheeler. We're going to have you in reserve wherever we need you. We may need, to, we may need to maneuver him to guard our left flank, or we may need him to just support the center. Why are you guys all out of whack here? Get on that fence right there. Get on the that fence. No, this fence. Oh, my goodness. Okay, fine. You want to be on this fence? Get on that fence. What about you? Which fence do you want to? Okay, get on that fence then. Frost, let's put you here. Where is our... Tell you what, I'm going to put Davidson's brigade up on the fence line, and we're going to get our conscripts. We're going to have them available to back somebody up. Let's get our artillery up here now. Let's get our artillery up here. We're going to put our artillery on. Uh, i tell you what. I'm just going to. Do I have a hill anywhere? Yeah, we got a hill right here. Let's put our artillery on this little ridge line right there. That'll be fine. And we can maneuver them as we need to. Let's get General Longstreet up here close at hand. We'll get him at that little farmhouse there. Now, who do we have back here? We've got... This is the Army of the Rappahannock, okay? We're just going to let them come along up the road, and they'll join in when they can get there. And then we've got General Stewart over here. So let's line him up on the road. All right, and we'll get time ticking along here. Army of the Rappahannock, you guys come on up the road as quickly as you can. General Stewart, bring your boys along as well. Mountain, why don't you come also? I'm going to try to see if I can see 
any dust clouds to let me know where they are. They should be over here somewhere. But I tell you, sometimes the AI does manage to surprise me in this game with the way he maneuvers. And I don't mind that at all. Where is he? I hear him. I hear him. No, I think that's my army I hear. I thought I heard him. I don't see any dust clouds. He's got to be over here somewhere. Is he coming down this road? Is there an entrance that I missed? Did I miss an entrance somewhere? Huh. I don't know where they are. I don't see any dust clouds. Okay, well, we're just going to sit on the objective because we've got it. Okay, reinforcements are coming. There's Fitzhugh Lee right there. I'd probably want to get him into a better command than a artillery brigade. I, I'm a little, I'm a little troubled by the way these guys are situated. I would really like y'all to get situated in a better position, please. Okay, Stewart is coming along, and the Army of the Rappahannock is coming along. Where is the enemy? Why don't you guys finish working on those breastworks, please? Is that dust clouds right there? I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to have to send out my cavalry to search for them, I guess. Barton, go up to that plateau over there. And Frost... Move out to the far left, please. Beauregard is coming along very slowly. I'm going to have to send the cavalry out and find them. We may have to go hunt them down. The smartest thing for them to do would be to be retreating right now, which they may very well be doing. Uh, the AI may be trying to force me to come after him and just try to inflict some some losses on me before he withdraws from the battle which would be the smartest thing for him to do that would be the smartest thing he cannot win this battle but he can hurt me he can inflict some losses on me so if i if i were the ai if i were the union general i would have myself some uh parapet set up here maybe on one of these approaches near the edge of the map so that I could uh, inflict some losses on the Confederates when they attacked me, fight as long as I could, and then quickly withdraw off the map. Now, that's what I would do if I were in their position. So that may very well be what they're doing. So I'm just going to have to go find them and see where they are. He's probably, he may have some parapets over here in Centerville. And he's just waiting for me to come attack him. Now that'll be interesting if that's what he's doing. Would definitely be the smart thing to do. Okay, Stewart's coming in with the cavalry. I've got to give his cavalry a good name. Stewart's cavalry just doesn't do it for me. I think I've got a pretty good idea what I want to name those guys. 
Okay, Barton is going to go find, and Frost are going to go find them for me. Frost, why don't you come up that way? I'm going to speed this up while we try and search for the enemy here. Yeah, he's holed up in a, in a defensive position back here somewhere, uh, getting ready to withdraw. But he wants to, uh, he wants to draw blood before he withdraws. Barton, move up a little closer to Centerville. Munford, why don't you move up to the Red Hill Farm and let's start looking around this direction over here. Going to speed it up a little bit while we search for them with our cavalry. Frost, go go further up that road, please. And Barton, Barton's already got his orders. Am I missing anything? Did I miss anything he's got to be on the edge of the map somewhere he's got to be Barton move closer into Centerville please Johnson why don't you he's staying right there with Frost Frost to move further up the road. Ah, just Mumford come to Sudley Ford. Barton is probably going to stumble upon them and blunder into one of their brigades, most likely. Most likely. If I had to bet, I bet he's over here. <sighs> Apparently not. I would have lost that bet. Okay. Barton. Yep, there he is right there. Okay, Barton, back off. Back off. He is moving. Barton, back off. Uh, Johnson, let's get you back over here. Come back, General Johnson. Get over here as quickly as you can so you can give orders to Barton. Barton, you need to retreat, please. can't make him retreat for some reason there he goes okay he got his orders he's getting out of there okay Barton let me slow this down come on back behind the lines please you have done your duty Frost why don't you get behind the lines as well we may use these guys on some flanking motions here later in the battle it looks like he is coming forward which uh, I would not have recommended. General Beauregard, why don't you just bring your boys, why don't you just come line your boys on up over here? I don't see any reason why not. General Stewart, get your cavalry out to the flank as well, please. Actually, yeah. 
and General Johnston, let's get your cavalry over on this flank over here. Yeah. Let's make sure these guys are still long range. They are not for some reason. Even though I explicitly told them to be long range. Okay. All right, so they're coming at Hood's division here. We've got we've got the Hazard County Volunteers right here at the corner. Why don't you boys send out some skirmishers? Let's everybody send out skirmishers. Put them on the creek. Skirmishers, please. Hazard County Volunteers, get your skirmishers out there. <clears throat> All right, now what is up with my... Yeah, okay, my artillery is beginning to open up. Why don't you come over here on that hill? That tree is right in their way there. Let's see what kind of trouble our skirmishers can cause here. The boys ought to be able to get in there and get some trouble. He's already lost 150 men from that cavalry brigade. All right there, Lucas, how you doing? Hazard County volunteers have engaged the enemy. They're fighting General Griffin's detachment. You boys come up and help. You boys come up and help too, please. Jones is already starting to take a few casualties. Okay, why don't you boys do a fighting withdrawal, please? Just fall back. We don't have to fight them. We don't have to beat them with skirmishers. I just want to tire them out. That's all I really want to do. You boys do a fighting withdrawal as well, please. Just tire them out. Keep them busy. Don't let them relax. Okay, Hazard County volunteers do a fighting withdrawal, boys. Whew, they've taken some losses, but not that many. Okay, Hazard County Volunteer Brigade, why don't you guys orient yourself to the right? All right, they're coming on in with a full-fledged on attack. We'll slow this down just a little bit. You guys do a fighting withdrawal, please. Skirmishers keep withdrawing. How are y'all doing? Minigalt, he's doing fine.
Okay, Duke, pull pull in your skirmishers. They've done their job. Artillery is really starting to open up on them out there. Jones, bring your skirmishers on in. Okay, it looks like he may try to gang up on my right flank over here. Johnson, you may have to fill in over here on the right flank. Wheeler, swing your boys up this way, please back up hood right now the only thing we got on our right flank is Villapo skirmishers which may be enough we'll just have to see Right course looks like they're coming right at course there. Oh, Duke, what are you doing? Uh, why are you getting orders to advance? He got orders from Smith to advance. No, 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 no. Well, we'll okay, I'm just gonna let him do it. I'm gonna let him do his follow his orders. Uh, he's been told to halt. Okay. He's been told to halt. Well, our position looks pretty good over here. Of course, has already lost 100 men, though. They're able to get on that creek and get some cover, which I don't like. But the creek also wears them out. Those marshes also cause them to be very tired. Okay, General Beauregard, his army is disrupted. General Stewart, bring your corps up into this forest over here, please. Hood, how you doing? Doing very well. His brigades are holding up. Oop, yep, they're coming at my right here. They're coming at my right. Okay, Johnson, you got to hurry up and get there. Wheeler, you got to hurry up and get there. My right flank is vulnerable over here. All I've got right now are skirmishers, and they're going to break any minute now. How are we doing here, boys? How are we doing? We're doing fine on the line. Yeah, we're doing fine on the line. Wheeler's on the way. Johnson, Johnson, get your cavalry up here, please. Hurry up. Get your cavalry up here. Wheeler's on the way. Hood, keep holding the line, Hood. Ah, Manigault, I'm worried about him. He's... That unit's about to break. That unit's about to break. Manigault, I'm worried about Manigault. Okay, Duke, bring your bring your brigade on up here. Let's try to flank somebody. Charge on up there. And let's bring Brown in behind him. Brown, you come along behind him. Magruder, you come along as well. Everybody come up that road over there. He's trying to maneuver onto my right over here.
Wheeler, where are you? Okay, Wheeler's boys are marching. Hit their flank, please. Hit them, please. What are you doing? You're supposed to be coming up here. Hit them in the flank. Hit them in the flank. Hurry up. Hit them in the flank, please. Manigault's, Manigault's lost a lot of men. I got to get him off the line. Get up there and take his place, Davidson. He's only lost 83 men. Okay, back off. Back off. Now that you've forced them to re-maneuver... Okay, Frost, you back off as well. Man, uh, hurry up and get up there. Hurry up and get up there, Davidson. I think Manigault's going to be fine. He's lost 350 men, though. I would like to get him on off the line. Davidson is coming. Manigault, yeah, he's fine. He'll hold until Davidson gets there. Whoa, what are we doing up here? What's going on up here? Why did you charge him? I did not want you to charge him. Get out of there. Retreat. What's your problem? Get out of there. Retreat. Okay, he actually made him break. Okay. Okay, I won't fire you, Frost, but Frost, I want you get to get out of there. I don't need you to do that. It's very heroic, but I don't need you breaking. Get out of there, Frost. Get out of there. I broke. Dang it. No, he isn't broke. He's just unstable. He, he's panicked. Get out of there, Frost. If you break, he's broken. Dang it. Uh, I need Wheeler to hurry up. Stuart, keep keep bringing your boys around on the right over here. How are the Duke boy? Oh, he's doing great. He's on this little high ridge right here. He's got a great field of fire. Okay, why don't y'all go ahead and attack those guys over there? Hazard County Volunteers, move up. Brown, come in behind him, please. How are we doing over here? Why don't you, uh, why don't you move down the line there? Hazard County Volunteers are, I need you long range with those Mississippi rifles, please. Fire at those guys. I need, oh, great. No, why aren't you firing long, oh my goodness. That's not what I wanted you to do. Duke, back out of there. Back out of there. You're not made for close quarters fighting, Duke. You've got long-range weapons. You should be using them at long range. Why are you not firing long range? Not happy with that. I don't think that's his fault, though. I think that's his commander's fault. But he's in a bad spot now because his commander ordered him to, to fire at mid-range. Duke, get your boys out of there. Okay, he's now firing long range. But he's in a precarious situation. But he should be able to fire as he backs out, though. OK, 
Okay, he's got the right flank under control. Duke is backing his brigade up in good order. He's in good shape. His morale is fine. He has lost a lot of men, though. But that wasn't his fault. What about you? Are you... You're not firing... Okay, he is long range like he's supposed to be. Wheeler, let's start bringing your boys up. They're going to get tired dealing with that with that creek. So let's get them across the creek and get them get them rested. Manigault, where are you? I was going to back you up. Where's Manigault at? Hold on, I can't get I can't get a hold of Manigault here. I can get Davidson. I can't get there's Manigault. Manigault, back up. You did real well. You held the center of the line, so I'm gonna back you on out of there. Magruder, you come on up and relieve Duke. Stewart, where are you at? Stewart, I'm getting you ready for a grand cavalry charge. Oh, what's going on over here? He has a full-size brigade that is trying to flank me. Well, that sounds like a job for my conscripts. We'll back them up with a brigade. Johnston, what are you doing? Okay. Brown, why don't you turn and fire at them? Magruder, you keep coming up, please. Wheeler's men are going to be exhausted. They're having to deal with these marshes here. Felipe is in good order. Wheeler, just bring your men across the marsh, please. All right, I'm going to back the Hazard County Volunteers on up a little bit further. They have taken some hits there. They've definitely taken some hits. We're going to let Magruder come on in and relieve them there with his... Brigade. General Stewart get lined up over there. General Beauregard. Start bringing your boys forward as well, please. All right. I think we're going to let the Hazard County Volunteers, them and um, Manigault, we're going to let them retire from the battle here. They have done enough. They've lost a lot of men. How are we doing on the main line here? Where everybody else is doing great on the main line. The one that got hit the hardest was Manigault. He got hit the hardest. Go long range, please. Wheeler, keep swinging your boys around. Oh, 
know where he's trying to go with this br little brigade here. I'll say I'm very. This has been a very aggressive battle by the AI. I was not expecting him to come out and be so aggressive. Um, I was honestly expecting him to sit back and wait for me to come to him, and then he was then try to do a fighting withdrawal. General Stewart, what shape are your men in, sir? I'm going to let his men rest a little bit. They've marched all the way across the map. Then I'm going to unleash him. What is this guy doing over here? Barton's lost a lot of guys. I'm going to get Barton on out of there as well. Barton, get out of there. With your cavalry, we'll use you to clean up later if we need to. Donaldson, come on up the highway. Jones, you come on up the road too, please. How you doing there, Huffman? You having a good night tonight? That one thing about these Union brigades is they take horrendous losses. This brigade right here has lost 1,800 men, and they're not even close to breaking. It's amazing the losses that they can take without breaking. Okay, I'm fixing to let Wheeler rest just a minute, and then I'm going to send him in an assault. Let me check on Stewart's cavalry. They're winded. Okay, I'm going to let him rest his cavalry just a little bit longer. Can we get this cavalry out of here? Yeah, you get on out of here as well, please. Get on out of there. He's trying to sneak a brigade in from the woods over here behind me. I don't think that's going to work out too well for him. How's the main line doing? How are we doing, boys? Davidson came in and took Manigault's place, so he is holding the line. Course is holding the line very well. Uh, Jones is doing very great. Look at all these dead corpses out here, man. It has not been a good day for the Federals. And Vallejo is doing pretty well, too. Okay, Wheeler. Please begin your assault, sir. Bring in these cavalry units. Okay, Wheeler's going to begin his assault over on the right flank. What are you doing? You're you're supposed to be attacking them, please. You're supposed to be attacking as well on the right. General Stewart, how is your cavalry? We can't wait any longer. General Stewart, you are free to assault, sir. General Early, bring your division forward, sir. Jones, why don't you and the conscripts chase down that brigade right there, please? Yeah, they do need more battle maps, Frag. Yeah, they this uh I had already fought this core earlier uh in a minor victory. So they didn't completely re retreat out of northern Virginia. They still had enough strength to kind of hang around, so I'm just trying to 
trying to finish them off here. Run them out of Virginia and back up into up into Maryland. Uh, General Pelham. Ooh, Pelham. With the glorious brigade. General Pelham, I have had you in reserve. You are free to attack, sir, with your glorious brigade. I'm going to hold Manigault back. The glorious brigade with their, with their six stars of veterans are fixing to come into action here. This is going to, I want to keep an eye on this. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to be a beautiful thing to behold right here. There's the glorious brigade right there. I can't zoom in any closer. Here they come. Here they come. General Stewart, have you moved yet? He has not gotten his orders yet, but here comes the glorious brigade. General Davidson. Ooh, I got it. He's taking a lot of losses. General uh, Vallejo, you're in good shape. Why don't you join the Glorious Brigade in an assault? General Beckham, bring your boys forward. General Johnston, bring your boys forward. Here comes the Glorious Brigade. Go get them, boys. Go get them. Okay, how are we doing over here? General Hayes, you begin advancing. General Magruder, you begin advancing. General Stewart, have you gotten your orders yet? Yes, he should be advancing any time now. He has gotten his orders. How is the Glorious Brigade doing? Please advance, boys. Please advance. I'm going to hold back Jones. He's lost a lot of men. Give them the cold steel, boys. Give them the cold steel. Oh, oh, I, okay. Hold on, I. Yeah, let's get away from them. You guys are supposed to be chasing them down. Let's get Frost out there on them as well. Yeah, that order delay feature is pretty cool, isn't it? It makes it a little more realistic. You get some of the kind of crazy things that happen in real life, you know. Okay, they made them break over here, but he's he's kind of surrounded. Line up and attack. You get in there and help him, please. Jones, I'm going to have to bring you out too, it looks like. Where's my glorious brigade? Pelham. Get in there and get them, Pelham. Show them how it's done. General Stewart, why have you not moved yet? Fine, I'm going to have to take command of him personally, I guess. I want you guys moving. I want you attacking. Get over here and attack somebody. It looks like we're starting to roll them up here. What's going on with you, Vallejo? Vallejo, back out. Back out, Vallejo. Okay, we got problems over here, too. John oh, Johnston just broke on me. Ay, ay, ay. Well, that's not good. That's my fault. That's not his fault. I shouldn't have charged him like that. They are retreating. 
I hope he doesn't get defamed because of that. Really hope he doesn't get defamed because of that. Course, give him the cold steel, please. This little guy up here definitely messed me up. Yeah, he's exhausted. He didn't lose that many men, but those guys right there are a problem. They're on that creek. They've got plenty. I've got to just get him out of there. Johnson, just get out of there. Just, just retreat, please. Just retreat. Everybody's exhausted. Just stay on them, boys. Stay on them. Those that aren't too tired, stay on them, please. Get over here and help. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to let them go. My men are exhausted. I'm going to let them go. I'm going to let them retreat on off the field. Beckham, yeah, you back on up, Beckham. Let's let him go. <laughs> Why have you not moved yet? Yeah, I like that scene. My favorite line in that scene was, there is no time for that, General Stewart. There is no time for that. When he wanted to uh, give his resignation. <laughs> because he had gotten fussed at by General Lee. <laughs> there is no time for that. <laughs> Let's see, was Asla? I don't really know anything about this game, but that'll be something nice to sleep on. So, yeah, having Twitch on in the background. Man, I do that all the time. I like turn something on real low and just lay back and go to sleep while it plays the thing that aggravates me though is when those damn commercials come on and they're they've got the the audio and the volume on those commercials jacked up to level 15 they really ought to have some kind of leveler or something on those commercials on youtube or whatever so that they're not louder they're not louder than the damn program that you've got set to, to a comfortable level, you know? Because when those commercials come on and they just about scare you out of your seat, it really annoys me. Especially when I'm trying to sleep with something going on in the background. That is the worst thing ever. That's my only complaint about... Okay, enemy unit whipped out. Looks like the entire unit surrendered. Very good. I'm a little worried. We didn't really... Our, our right flank, I didn't really handle my right flank very well. Could have handled that a little bit better. I hope I don't have any of my generals get defamed because of that. I, pr I very well may, though. Because I did have a few guys get overwhelmed and get broken over here on my right. So, a little worried about that. But we did get a major victory. Let's look at our numbers here. Let's see. They lost 14,000 men. We did lose 5,000, though. I just... The... the the numbers that their, their brigades can lose are just staggered. Why don't you just go ahead and stop? He's about to break just from exhaustion. Just stop moving. Where is my glorious brigade at? There they are right there. He did. Good Lord, he lost. This is Davidson's brigade. He lost 900 men. Really? Did you really lose that many men? The Glorious Brigade lost 346, so 
uh, Davidson and Vallejo were probably two of my worst hit brigades. But it was a major victory, so we should have run them out of Virginia. Appreciate everybody hanging out with me tonight. Hope you guys are having a good evening. I do upload this. Uh, I have been uploading this series to my YouTube channel. So I am Mechawatt on YouTube. And you can actually follow this series on YouTube from the very first episode. Uh, so we're on episode 12 right now. So there's 11 previous episodes for this ongoing series if you want to follow us on on uh, YouTube. Uh, we are following the exploits of the Hazard County Volunteers from Hazard County, Georgia. Yeah, Vallejo got, and he did really good in that battle too. That's a shame right there. Well, yeah, we're following the, the uh, adventures of the Hazard County Volunteers, the good old boys under the command of Lucas Beauregard Duke their most famous leader and friend that they all elected as their leader. So we're going to follow them along in the Civil War and see how they do. They were in this battle. Though they did get uh, kind of isolated out in the middle of the field and I had to pull them back at one point. We did lose an officer who got hurt the following commander oh Manigault got hurt well I'm not happy about that I need every commander that I can get alright so this was the battle that we just fought here in, on the Manassas battlefield so this army here should be retreating back out of northern Virginia and we'll be able to pull our core back and let them get some rest. Okay, I'm going to get time ticking along here. Now, they still have got some core messing around up here in western Maryland that seem to be coming back into the theater of operation. So we may... Yeah, it looks like we've got some more trouble come along, coming along over there that we're going to have to deal with. So we may not be able to get very much rest. Are they coming into the Shenandoah Valley? I may need to transfer some. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Let's transfer some brigades over to the arm. Let's transfer some divisions over to the Army of the Shenandoah. Let's just go ahead and get that taken care of right now. So let's see here. Army of Northern Virginia. Let's go ahead and transfer Smith's division. They're a little worse for wear. Who took the least amount of damage in that battle? Good Lord, Davidson lost. He's got 843. What about Hood? How did his brigades turn out? Vallejo, Waitman got hit pretty hard. It looks like Smith has got the bet the the uh, division that was hit the least. So I'm going to transfer Smith's division over to the Army of the Shenandoah with the Hazard County Volunteers here. So he's got 470 casualties, men that are wounded. I may have to give him some reinforcements. But we're going to go ahead and transfer that division. Do I want to transfer one more division? No, I'm just going to transfer one division for now. It'll take them about two days to get over there. And I'm going to back up the Army of Northern Virginia oh, back here to the Supply Depot. And here's what I'm going to do. Let's look at these guys real quick. Longstreet. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, how can I replace that? How can I possibly replace that right there? Twitch Turbo to avoid ads, that's probably a good idea, but I'm a cheapskate. Uh, I could probably do that, something like that with YouTube as well, so I don't have to deal with those loud-ass ads. Oh, my goodness, look at all these stars. Look at all these bonuses and all these buffs. Oh, my God. I, You know what? I got to keep him in, in control of this core, which is really what this is. The deal is, I've got General Lee. Let's look at him real quick. But here's my problem with General Lee. Everybody considers him insignificant for some reason. Now, I had him over the Army of Northern Virginia earlier, and we won about four battles with him, and his fame was going down for some reason but I really need him in command because I need to get my war support in Virginia up and I don't think they're even though the army is happy with General Longstreet all of my citizens in the great state of Virginia are not happy with General Longstreet they want General Lee to be in command of the army so I guess what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for core. I still don't have core yet. How far out are we from core? Let's see. We're still pretty good ways out from that. I'm just going to have to hang on until I can get core. And then I will give General Lee the overall command. Tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to move General Stewart's cavalry up toward the Shenandoah Valley to help the army of the Shenandoah. And how are we doing over here in Tennessee? All right, we're closing in on these guys. We are closing in on them. We've got... I think we've got the numbers for a pretty good battle here. I think we've got the numbers. This ought to be a pretty epic battle. Let's bring the Army of Tanuki on over. we got to go ahead and move while we've got good readiness. Let's bring the Army of Mississippi up, and let's bring the Army of Tennessee up to the border. And we're going to start inching closer to these guys. Who is my best general here? I don't think it's Polk. He's only two. He's pretty insignificant. What about Poke? How's Poke look? Poke doesn't look bad. I may make him a general. Give him overall command. What about Breckenridge? He's about the same as Poke. Polk is a lieutenant general. Do I want to go ahead and make him a general? I think I do. That may help his fame as well. He has sort of been acting as my overall commander. I'm going to go ahead and give him a promotion. He is going to be a field general. And he is going to be my overall commander over here in the Mid-South area. Oh, I haven't looked at Missouri in a while. We don't have much going on over there. Looks like so far the action has been in Virginia and in uh, Central Tennessee and Kentucky over here. They're probably going to stand and fight us though. So let's wait till Tanucky gets over in position. Let's bring General. Let's bring General Henry Jackson a little bit closer. And let's bring Tanucky a little bit closer. We've been unlucky in our forays into Kentucky so far. They've beaten us back the last couple of times that we've tried to go up into Kentucky. So 
Oh, and let's let's bring Pillow's cavalry over here as well to help out. Pillow, why don't you get on up there too? How are we looking over here? He's got 23,000 men. When we get that division, we're going to have 38,000 up there. We may go pick a fight with those guys, as, as long as they're not on the river. When is he going to get his reinforcements? Smith is one day out. Okay. Army of Northern Virginia, their readiness is down. Army of the Rappahannock. Things looking good over there. All right, this is where the action is, right here. I'm going to speed this up as we're waiting for our armies to march and get in position. Here comes our cavalry. Army of Mississippi come a little bit closer. Army of Tennessee. Oh, why does it keep doing that? Start moving closer to them, please. Let's see if they stand and fight us here. He's got 19,000 there. 39,000. So that's, let's see, that's 60,000. 80,000. He's got about 80,000 men there, so he does outnumber us. He does outnumber us. Army of Mississippi, keep following along. Cavalry, keep following along. Tanucky, stay close at hand. Army of Tennessee, move in closer, please. Lead the... Lead the charge. They may withdraw on us. We'll see. But they do outnumber us. But they're... Ooh, what's going on right here? What's going on right here? Okay, hold on now. Wait a minute. Now, we outnumber them. We actually have... I must not have done my math. We actually have 117,000 men... When, when you add up all of those different core that we're bringing to bear. Oh, this is going to be incredible. He's got 93,000 men, so he doesn't have, he's even got more than I thought he did. The one good thing that he's got going in his favor, though, is all of his armies are already on the map. My armies are going to be coming in Three hours, three hours, and then six hours. So that's really not bad, though. Okay, well, let's do it. So we've got General Fremont, Major General Fremont, going up against General Leonidas Polk. Let's see how this goes. This is going to be our biggest battle yet in Kentucky. Battle in West Kentucky. The Battle of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Here we go. Well, that number just keeps going up. Now it's telling me that I've got 142,000 men. That can't even be, that can't be right. I, I can't possibly have 142,000 men. I don't think I've got 142,000 men in the entire Confederate Army. I, I, don't, I don't think that math is adding up correct. There's a miscalculation somewhere. Something is getting miscalculated. Well, one thing is for sure. I hope the game doesn't crash on me with these many, this many men on the field. I think this is going to be the, the largest battle I have ever fought in this game. I don't think I've ever had 200,000 
man armies meet yet. Certainly not without the core system in place. It's going to be interesting to see. It's taking it a while to load too, so yeah. It's going to be a lot of men on the map here. Ads on Twitch ruin the experience. Yeah, because it's a live experience. Yeah, that's for sure. What I love about Twitch is I can live stream and then I can upload it to YouTube and it gives me a good excuse to just not, not have to edit my videos. <laughs> I just I just can save it and then just upload it to YouTube <laughs> as it is. Usually it's just if something really bad happens, I'll try to edit it out or if I have an audio issue or something like that I'll go in and do some editing but but my god this is taking a long time to load I hope the game's not fixed to crash on me here I am a little concerned I'm a little concerned here ah uh, yeah Can I wait for it to? Well, this is not going to be good if it's crashing on me. Uh, come on, come on back to me now. Well, I, 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 okay, here it comes. All right, wow, I was about to give up on it. Just about to give up on it. Okay, they have the objective, so we are going to have to attack them. But the good thing about it is. It's a wide open flat map with pretty relatively flat terrain. There is a river down here we're going to have to initially cross. But I think we're going to be in good shape here. All right, let's see who we've got on the map. We've got General Polk. Let's go ahead get everybody lined up out here where I can see what I've got who is this over here man we've got you we've got stuff going every which way okay there's our cavalry going to set up a cavalry unit here a cavalry unit to lead the way there just to go find them for us And let's set up Hampton's division there. Here's the Texas division. Let's put the Texas division here in the center as well. We'll put Loring's division here. Because so I think we're going to have to do some marching. Let's just keep everybody together. Let's just keep everybody together here. Halls, you come in to. We'll get our artillery on the road here. And we'll let our conscript units hang out back here on the road at these farms. Yeah, we'll keep them back here. We'll bring them up as we need them if we need to fill if we need to plug a gap somewhere. All right, let's get time ticking. Barksdale, bring your cavalry on around this way, please. And Forrest, let's bring your cavalry forward as well. See if where we can see how they're lined up. Now he's probably going to have some parapets and some defenses set up. So we need to just take our time here. We still have a lot of reinforcements that are going to be coming onto the map. 
in the oncoming hours, so we don't want to get in too much of a hurry and send in our first core by itself. This will be our preparatory core. They'll kind of be preparing the groundwork as we got our other two core coming in, and then we'll try to maybe come up this road over here and come at maybe come at their flank. Who knows? We may can come all the way up here to the Owens and the McDaniels farm and come in behind them. You never know. We're going to have enough men, so let's just see what we can do here. I'm going to speed this up as we wait for our cavalry to move. I'm just going to let all the men get as much rest as they can before I start marching everybody. Barksdale, you got your orders. Forrest. Forrest got his orders. Okay, Texas Brigade, why don't you guys just come on up to that fence row there? Barksdale, yeah, okay, he just got his orders too. And artillery, I definitely want my artillery moving. When nobody else is moving, we can at least be pulling artillery up. We should be seeing them very soon here. All right, I've got Swamp over here on my right flank, so I'm not going to be able to maneuver out here. So if he's smart, he is going to have his right or his left flank guarded by this Swamp over here. So I'm really going to, if I'm going to maneuver at all, it's going to have to be out this direction. Posey, why don't you go further up the road, please? Loring, bring your division forward, too. Just a little ways. More enemy units are coming into the battlefield. More enemy core. Greer, why don't you fan out that way? Pender, why don't you go into the forest there, please? Cheatham, bring your boys up too. Halls, why don't you bring your boys up behind Hampton? Barksdale, send your cavalry further up the road, please. Okay, he's lining up that way. He doesn't look like he's utilizing the swamp over here like I would have thought that he would. Um, hmm. That may give me an opening to maneuver off to his left. If he gives me any wiggle room over here, I may... I do not want to get in this swamp, though. That will exhaust the soldiers. You don't... I don't want them getting into any of this right here. Very important. All right, Greer, go give me a look-see what he's got over on his left over there. Hardy, come up to that fence line. 
Hampton, bring your boys into the forest on Hardy's left. Stewart, bring your artillery forward, please. And let's bring up our conscripts. Bring up our conscripts. Featherson, you come on up the road too, please. Greer, cheat a little more out to the right, and let me see. It doesn't look like he's got much right here yet. But let's wait on our reinforcements, not get in a hurry. Pender, cheat out to the left. Green, move up the road, please. If I can come up this road right here, that would be excellent. Yeah, he is spread out over on his left pretty good. Okay, Greer, um, just stay there. I may... Yeah, I'm going to have to come at him this way, probably, like this right here. I'm going to have to come at him from this angle, it looks like. Just try to come up the main road here. We're just going to have to come up the main road and come at him that way. Greer, why don't you back on out of there, please? I'll tell you what, Forrest... Get over closer to Greer so he can get his orders quickly. I want him to stay there as long as he can. Till he gets threatened. In the meantime, Halls come on up behind Hampton. Cheatham. Who is this right here? Oh, this is Loring. Loring, you come up behind the artillery. Cheatham, you stay in behind Hardy. Everybody just keep inching up the road. Let's inch our way toward them. All right, Chalmers, move up to the Bowman Farm. Let's see if the way is clear up this road here. <clears throat> Hampton, you've got to get through that forest, so I'm going to go ahead and let you move on up. Hardy, you inch up as well. Keep keep a pace with Hampton. Stewart bring your art keep bringing your artillery forward we're still waiting on our other corps to get onto the battlefield who's this one of the enemy brigades has withdrawn that's interesting greer are you under threat i don't think so i think he's fine where he's at pender move up a little closer pender Everything is looking good over here on the far left. We may be able to march one of our corps up this direction. I don't know how much good it's going to do me, but I may can take one of, the, one of the objectives. If I can steal some of the objectives from him, it may force him to have to be aggressive 
and we may can take advantage of that. Halls, stay behind Hampton, please. Cheatham, you keep moving up as well. And let's bring up our conscripts. Posey ease up toward the Nichols Farm. Yeah, it looks like he may be abandoning these objectives back here. All right. Army of Mississippi is arriving and coming into the field. Okay. And Pillow has also arrived. General Barksdale, just bring your boys. Start bringing your boys on up that road. I need to see what's up that road. Loring, you come on up as well, please. Halls, you come on up to Hampton's rear and left. i got to get these guys through that forest as quickly as we can. Once we get past that forest, it's going to be open ground that we should be able to march through relatively easy. Um... Keep moving up that road, please. All right, Army of Mississippi. You guys just get on up here as quickly as you can, please. Just stretch out along the road. Just get on up here. Get on up the road. Where is... Where's Pillow at? Where did Pillow come into the map at? Pillow, where are you? Oh, I'll have to find him later. He must he must be mixed up with the Army of the Mississippi there. Okay, Harden, get clear of that forest. Hardy, stay abreast with him, please. Cheatham, stay behind Hardy. Artillery, you guys keep moving up as well. Right, looks like we're being shelled here. We haven't lost anybody though. I'm going to keep my cavalry where they are. I got to get these guys on up the road here. Get on up to that farm and that intersection. Tell me, show me what's up there, please. He's got a pretty good looking battle line there. He doesn't have any parapets though. He does have a few fence lines here and there. But he and he also has this forest that he's in the middle of, which is going to make it a little difficult for me. But if we just keep inching our way forward as we wait for our reinforcements, there's pillow. Uh pillow.
pillow. Why don't you break off? Has he only got one brigade? I thought he had multiple brigades. Oh, well. All right, what's he doing here? Okay, not sure what he's doing. He may decide that it is in his best interest to try and defeat me in defeat my core in detail. No, he's backing those guys off. He's backing them off. I think he may have changed his mind. Yeah, they're backing off. Okay. I think he was fixing to try to come at me because he, he realizes I've got reinforcements coming. But uh, I think he's changing his mind on that. It's good to see. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, okay. See, I just blundered. Blundered right into that. Blundered right into it. Yep. I got impatient. Got impatient and blundered right into that right there. Okay, well, that tells me something important at the cost of those poor cavalrymen. That tells me that he's got his army split up and that if I'm aggressive and go after this guy, I make him defeat this corps in detail before this corps can come to their aid. If I am, if I can play this correctly... So, let's just try to get everybody. I've got to get these guys through this forest, though. Hall, Halls, get your guys up here. Can you get to that trail right there? Stuart, get your artillery up here on the line. Hardy, ease your men forward. Chiefham, stay behind them. Hampton, cheat your men forward, please. And Loring, you just come up the middle. Pillow, just move forward, please. It's taking it's taking the Army of the Mississippi just forever to move. They're so disorganized and disrupted back here. Don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. <sighs> Conscripts, keep coming forward, please. Conscripts, keep moving up. Yeah, this is not a bad battle line. He's got the forest that's going to slow me down. We've got the we've got the swamp over here. Okay. Man, his men, he's got he's got his whole army just strung out along this road. It is taking them forever to get into position. But if he'll just keep bringing them along, that's all I need. Hampton, let's get your boys long range. Hardy, same thing. Halls, let's get your boys long range too. Hampton, keep easing forward. Hardy, keep easing forward. He's got a lot of power back here. Uh, well, we got off to a bad start. I got impatient and just tried to rush those guys up to those two farms, and I paid the price for that. Barksdale's going to try to get those guys back under control. Let's see how many men they lost. 
Let's see. Yeah, he lost a lot of men. That was my fault right there. They're probably coming up the highway, too. Uh, so we're off to an inauspicious start here uh, with me just being impatient. General Polk, why don't we move you forward, please? Why don't you come forward? Sir, Pillow, bring your boys up here. This has got to be the slowest moving army I have ever seen. Can you guys please move any faster? Who do you belong to? What who what what division do you belong to? That is They're all disrupted. Oh, it's taking them forever to move. Okay, Loring, keep bringing your boys forward as well. Halls, what condition are your men in? They are failing, poor, good, very good. Well, Halls, you just you got to keep moving, buddy. You're my you're my left flank right now, and I need you moving. Hampton, I need you moving as well. Start cheating to the left a little bit. Hardy, ease up a little bit further. Cheatham, you come for, you come forward as well. Stewart, bring your artillery closer. This is going to be a tough little battle here. Going to speed things up as we as we march and maneuver. They don't seem to be threatening us right now. They're just waiting on us. So we can just just maneuver here. Just try and get maneuvered. Try not to, to uh wear my men out too much. Loring, you come straight up the middle, please. Owen, get your get your division up here, Owen. Please hurry. Halls, what condition are you in? They are well rested. Halls, keep cheating your men off to the left. Hampton, keep cheating your men off to the left. Stuart, how is your artillery doing? You're still too far out. Stuart, keep bringing your artillery up. And Loring, you stay with the artillery. Hardy, come up to the creek. Cheatham, start getting across the creek. Conscripts, stay on the road, please. Breckenridge is arriving. Good. Good, good, good. We need him. Halls, keep cheating around to the left. Hardy, keep coming straight up the center there. Hardy, how are your boys? What shape are they? They should be the most rested. Hardy, I'm going to wait before I bring you forward. I want my left to get in position, and I want my reinforcements to get on up the road here. Guys, please come up the road. 
Who do you belong to? This is the Army of Tanucky. Army of Tanucky, just come on up the road, please. Stuart, bring your artillery up closer. Hampton, why haven't you gotten your order? Okay, they just got their orders. Loring, you keep pace with the artillery. Hey, Good's artillery is slowing everybody down. Why are y'all moving so slow? They're all interfering with each other. They've all got to come up the same road. There's only one road that they can all come up. And it's really interfering with our, with our progress here. Okay, Halls, how are you doing? Muskets. How did he end up with mixed muskets? Okay, Cheatham, get all your boys across the creek. Hardy. Get your boys, start getting your boys across the creek, please. Loring, start getting your boys across the creek. <clears throat> General Polk, let's get you a little closer. Taylor, who do you belong to? think Halls is ready, as ready as he's ever going to be. Okay, Halls, try to start rolling up his right flank. Hampton, start closing in on his right flank. Stewart, are you, yeah, he is in range to open up, so I'm going to let him stay where he is. Loring, Loring, you start advancing as well. Loring, start advancing. Let's hit him on his right. Let's come in from our left while we bringing in reinforcements. General Polk, I need you over here closer to where the action's going to be. All right, boys, just go ahead and engage. Go ahead and engage with them. Go ahead and engage with them, please. I've got to be careful on my left because he's got that massive core over here. He could he could swing down on me while I'm trying to roll this guy up and roll me up. So I got to be careful here. This is very risky what I'm doing. C Cavalry, you come on up and keep pace, please.
Looks like he's bringing some reinforcements over to help. Halls, I need you moving. Halls, you got to keep rolling them up. I need you moving quickly, please. I need you double timing, Halls. Okay, things are going well so far. Coming forward with your boys, please. Right now, Hampton's carrying pretty much the whole battle. Pender, get on up here. Posey, get on up here. Halls, I need you moving. Okay, Halls is finally moving. I'll let this line hold over here as we try and roll up his right. Guys, just keep coming. Keep coming. Whoop, somebody, oh, there they are. Let's give you guys an upgrade. He's already lost 300 men there. What have, oh, he's lost 300 men. I've got to back him off. Okay, Fulkerson, start backing out. Smith, you got to get up there and take his place, please. Manny, take his place. Smith, you got to move up. Move up, Smith. Got to move up and take his place in the line, please. Okay, over here, y'all need to keep rolling them up. Keep moving forward, boys. Keep moving forward. Everybody move forward. Cavalry unit, get in there and give me a charge, please. How are we looking on our reinforcements? Let me pause this just one second. Uh, Bowen, keep bringing your boys up the road. Loring, oh, hold on, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Loring. Loring, start bringing your boys forward. I don't know how much longer Hampton's going to Hampton's division's going to be able to hold out. 
He's carrying the bulk of the attack right now. Everybody over here, keep moving forward. Keep coming. Yeah, that's it. Keep coming, boys. Keep coming. Pender, you're doing excellent. Oh, he just made those guys surrender. Pender, get on top of those guys that are routing. It's working. Pender, hit that brigade right there. Smith, bayonet charge. Oh, Manny, Manny, back off. Back off, Manny. Manny, re retreat. Bayonet charge. Bayonet charge. Okay, Posey, where's your cavalry at? Let's get you out of there. You've done enough. I lost track of... Okay, good, good, good. Posey, let's let you take a break. Come on out of there, Posey. Come on out, Posey. Uh, he's got his blood up. He's not going to stop now. Posey, get out of there. Okay, I've got brigades over here that are getting behind. Y'all need to get into the middle of this thing. You need to get over here into the battle as well. Come line up, please. Is anybody falling behind back here? Cavalry units, get in here and help. Come help, please. How are we doing here on the main line? Okay, Hardy, you've got to come forward, please. Loring, you're supposed to be coming forward, Loring. Okay, these boys over here are about to get tired out. Posey, you got to get out of there. No, he's actually doing very well. He doesn't have to get out. Come on, boys. Keep up the pressure. Posey, get out of there. Somebody give him some help, please. Ah, crap. Dang it. I hope he doesn't get defamed because of that. Pender, you got to get out of there, too. Pender, get out of there. Pender just broke on me, too. Okay, I need my reinforcements to hurry up. Hey, good, get up here. Let's pause this just a second. Bowen, I need you up here, buddy. Get up here. Oh, man. Jackson's army, and there he is. Walker's division. Walker, I need you to get up here, too. Okay, my attack on his left is starting 
to run out of steam. Though we do have them reeling. They are reeling. But I feel like we're running out of steam here. Smith, get out of there. Retreat, Smith. His weapons are just so good. He's got those freaking repeating rifles that are just so good. Charge them, please. Who is not into the battle yet? Okay, Cheatham, start moving up, please. We're going to have to bring our conscripts up. This core is beginning to run out of steam. Gowan, stay on them. This line here is doing well. We're starting to make some of these guys route. But the battle is still leaning in his favor. Okay, cavalry, get out of there. Come on back. Retreat, retreat. I got to be careful with my cavalry units. Keep the pressure on them, boys. Keep the pressure on them. Maney, Maney's about to break. Maney, you get out of there too. Okay, Hardy's, uh, this division's just about done. We're just about done over here. Pettigrew, you get, you come forward and take over. Pettigrew, charge them. I got to get some of these guys off the field. Lawton is about out of steam. Clark, Clark's about out of steam. McGowan is definitely out of steam. I got to back McGowan off too. McGowan, you retreat also. Oh, man. Everybody over here, keep moving forward, keep attacking. Okay, that was good. Pettigrew broke him. Good job, Pettigrew. He's got a whole other brigade coming up on Pettigrew, though. Pettigrew, how are you doing? Ay, ay, ay. Clark, I can't let you out yet. You've got to stay in it. Come forward. Come forward and attack, please. Come forward and attack. Lawton, you got to get in there and help Pettigrew. I know you've lost a lot of men, but he needs help. Okay, good, good, good. Pettigrew held. Pettigrew held. Pettigrew, you are doing freaking fantastic. He only lost 140 men. Get on that next brigade, Pettigrew. Wood, Wood has hardly lost any men. Wood, you got to keep swinging around. They've still got the battle, though. They're still technically winning. I think because we're losing so many men in this pell-mell attack. Where are my reinforcements? Y'all have got to hurry up and get up here. Stevens, get up here. Garland, get in the battle. 
Everybody back that's back here, get in the battle. Cheatham, keep bringing your boys up. Liddell, you get up here. Halls and uh, Loring are running out of steam. They're not going to be able to carry this on much longer. Oh, God, he's got a full brigade right there. Can anybody charge him? Oh, crap. Who's... Ah, Brain's brigade just broke. Why are you out there all by yourself like that? What are you doing up there all by yourself? How did you get so far forward? Oh, there's nobody to help him. Oh, my God. Get up there and help him. I'm fixing to lose another brigade right there. How did this guy end up up there all by himself? Pemberton. Pemberton, get out of there. He's fixing to, he's broke. He's probably fixing to get. Oh. I don't know how I missed that. I don't know how Pemberton got out there all by himself like that. But things like that happen. Pettigrew. Pettigrew, you amazing machine. Keep rolling them up, Pettigrew. Pettigrew and Wood over on my far left are winning the battle for me. I don't know what happened to Pemberton here. I don't know how he got so far out ahead of everybody else. But I know one thing. I need... Where's my, where's my artillery? Artillery... I need you moving up too because they're backing oh they're backing away. So artillery keep coming forward. Chief them. How are you doing, Chief them? Chief them, get in here. Pettigrew, stay on them, buddy. And Wood, Wood, you're doing a wonderful job, too. He's lost 1,300 men in that one brigade right there. Get up there and help. Walker, get up here. I don't know. This may be too tough of a nut to crack right here. Let's see, he's lost 400 men. Garland, you haven't lost any men. Charge him. Give him the bayonet. He's about to break. Everybody keep advancing. Keep advancing, boys. Keep advancing. Over here on my left, Wood, keep advancing. You're doing excellent. Pettigrew, I love you. Freaking love you, Pettigrew. Wood, what's your problem? Get on up there. Pettigrew's run. I gotta let him rest. Pettigrew, back your boys off. Back your boys off. I gotta let him rest. He is absolutely exhausted. Jenkins, you get an upgrade. Get in there and get in the battle. McClaws, you get in there and get in the battle. Stevens, you're fresh. Get in there and get in the battle. I know your conscripts, but right now I just need men in the battle. 
Move up, boys. Move up. Everybody move up. Find somebody in front of you to attack. They've still they've still got the battle. We still haven't won this battle. We still don't have this battle going in our direction yet. McGowan, you come along too. Ah, De Pemberton just Pettigrew just broke. He did lose four hundred men. He's exhausted, though. I really pushed him hard. Lawton, you got to get out of there, too. Okay, I got to start backing off my left flank, guys. They're just, they're too tired. They're too tired. I may have to back off and regroup here. I really don't want to let up the pressure, though. Come on, you got to get up there and help. Garland, you're exposed to. Garland, back out of there. Garland, back out. Back out. He's about to break also. These guys are just too tired to do this. Come on, boys. Come on. Lawton, get out of there. I think Lawton just broke on me. Here he comes. No, those are guys that were that are retreating. That's good news. Lawton, you got to get out of there. Wood. How many is that guy? He's only lost 80 men. Not good. Fulkerson, you've got to get in and help. Stevens is in decent shape. Sibley, you have no losses. Give him a bayonet charge, please, sir. I'm going to back this cavalry out a little bit here. Move up, please. McClaws, you come forward as well. Walton, how are you doing? Man, he just keeps filling his left flank. I just cannot roll him up. Lawton managed to get out of there without breaking. Clark, you're going to have to keep keep coming along, please. Reinforcements, where are you? Who is this back here? I don't know who that is, but I need your entire army up here, please. Bring your entire army up here oh 
Well, he's got a core way over there in the middle of nowhere, which gives me the opportunity to try and rat and to roll these guys up if I can. If I don't, oh come on now, you get move in there and do something, please. Move in there and attack, please. Stevens back out. Jones. Oh, my cavalry just broke right there. Damn it. I need somebody over here attacking. Please attack. We are running out of steam. Wright is about to break. I'm going to back him off. Wright, get on out of there. McGowan, you're going to have to come in and help. Wood. Clark. Clark, bayonet charge. I got to start breaking more of these guys. Those are units that have recently routed. He still got the battle, though. He's still technically winning the battle. These guys back here are going to have to get back into the battle. Second Brigade, he's lost 400 men. Wood has lost 400 men. He's out of steam. Clark has lost 400 men. Clark, back out. Back out, Clark. Clark, get out of there. Clark, get out of there. Who's in the best shape? It's not McClaws. Uh-oh. Looks like McC McClown is going in to help to try and save him. We're just getting a massive melee right over here. Get on in there and help him. Get in there and help him. This is just fixing to be one massive melee battle right over here. Just get in there and help him. One massive melee fight right there. He's got every one of his generals on hand for this battle. I can't zoom in any. One of my units just broke. Oh, and one of his just broke. Bunch of boys are coming in with their bayonets right now. His generals are fleeing the field. Who broke right there? Clark unit just broke. What has he got right here? He's got 2nd Brigade. They've lost, lost 800 men. Come on, boys. Break them. Break them. Just a massive melee. We're still losing this battle, though. Well, I don't know what else to do here. I'm just going to send everybody in on attack that I've got left. Everybody join in a general attack. Find somebody to, to shoot at. I don't care who it is. Find somebody to shoot at. 
Did we win that melee? I think we won that melee. We won the melee. Good job, boys. God, they got to be exhausted. I got to let these men rest right where they stand. I don't want to move them another inch. I got to let every one of these men rest. Okay. My other divisions, you guys have got to carry the battle from now on. It's up to you guys. Y'all got to move forward. Everybody's got to move forward. We got to go here, boys. I'm going to let these guys rest right where they are. I'm not moving them another inch. They managed to sweep up his whole right flank over here and roll them up. But now we're in the middle of this forest. Greer, can you bring your cavalry up? Chiefum, why are your boys not doing anything over here? I need you to be aggressive, Chiefum. Why aren't your boys attacking? Get them up there and attack. Move up. He's got a relatively fresh division. Everybody attack somebody in front of you. Cheatham, move your boys, Cheatham. Come on. I think we've just about got this core. Just about got them. Then we got to deal with these other guys over here. And they're coming. They're coming to his aid now. They're starting to show up to come to his aid. So we got to hurry up and get these guys off the board here. I am not losing another battle in Kentucky. Hyman, get up there. Get your boys up there. Who is breaking over here? Wood, I thought I told you to back off. No, I told you I wasn't going to move you again. But you're getting you're you're coming under cannon fire, so I need you to back off. Jenkins, you gotta charge that you gotta charge that battery. Jones, you go in behind him. That battery is right there is eating us up. Who's losing men? McCow's losing men. Cheatham, move your men up, please. Come on, hurry up. Okay, he charged that battery. Who is this right here that's all out? Oh, God, he's lost 800 men. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. Get out of there. Get out of there, Pemberton. Randall, you get in there and take over. Hindman, you get in there too. Your boys are relatively fresh. Fulkerson. Your boys are fresh enough. He's got a whole other core getting lined up back here. And the guys that 
have recently broken are coming back into the battle. Man, I don't know. This is going to be tough. It's a tough battle right here. Come on, boys. Everybody do something. Are there any surprises sneaking up on me that I don't know about? Who is all these guys back here? I'm just trying to bring up anybody I possibly can. Stuart, bring your artillery up. Oh, no. Oh, good Lord. No, no. Let's cancel that. Didn't know what, what I was doing quite right there. Now, who are, who all do we have over here? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Y'all try to start getting back into the battle if you can. I need more units in this battle. I think we're breaking them. He's got fresh brigades coming, though. All right, I'm going to have to back up and try and reorganize here. All right, let's pause. Let's pause for just a second here. We did disintegrate a unit. That's good news. Okay, Hampton. Oh. Get your boys organized if you can. Cheatham. Bring your boys back. Loring. Bring your boys back. Who do you belong to? Somehow or another one of our Tanuki brigades has managed to get all the way up here into the battle, which is wonderful for them. You back up as well. Who do you belong to? You're going to back up. Let's back you up. All right, we got to get reorganized here. We're exhausted. We may have to wait till tomorrow. I think we've done enough today. Let's look and see what the numbers are. We've moved We've moved it our direction a little bit. Good God, we've lost 18,000, they've lost 19,000. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. We can't afford we can't afford those kind of losses. We can't afford those kind of losses. You got to back up. That's just too much. Cavalry, yeah, you back on up. Get on out of there. I just, I couldn't push, I could not push any further. Uh, we were almost, we were almost there, but we just couldn't quite do it. We just couldn't quite do it. Clayton, get out of there. Clayton, get out of there. Greer, you got to get out of there, too. Come on. Let's get out of there. Clayton just broke. I don't know. I may... 
don't know. I, we did get command of this objective. That might be something worth holding on to. I'm disengaging here. He's got he's got this other core coming in from oh, this side over here though that we have to worry about. Halls, get your boys get your boys lined up on that fence line, Halls. Hampton Get your boys lined up on this fence line. He's fixing to get this objective back. Ah, McCowan just got whipped. McCowan was wounded. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Oh, I don't know. This may have been just a little too much. If I can just get my divisions reorganized here. Who is this down here? Why don't you come on up? Why don't you guys come up? I don't even know who these belong to. McCullough. McCullough, get on up here. I need you, man. I need you. Cheatham, where are you trying to get your boys get your boys at? Cheatham, just bring your boys up into the forest there. Kentucky boys trying to get them on that fence line okay it is end of day oh what a mess what a mess boy I don't know if I want to continue this or not I wish that little splash box would go away so I could see what I'm doing here. I do have 14 units of... I really need this splash box to go away. Because I need to deploy here. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let me try let me try to get my divisions organized. So let's get Okay, there's Hampton's what's left of Hampton's division. There's what's left of Loring's division. There's Cheatham's division. We'll well, Cheatham, let's get your We'll, we'll put Sheetham right there in the forest. Actually, here's what we're going to do. Who's all this right here? Bowen's division. Let's back him up so I can see what I'm doing. Walker's division. Okay. Jones, who do you belong to? That's the Texas division. Okay. All right. We're going to do a parapet. Just like this.
Going to do another parapet like that. We're going to get Cheatham. Going to Cheatham. We're going to line him up. Cheatham, we're going to line him up on that parapet. We're going to get Loring. Line Loring up on this parapet. Stuart, let's put your artillery back here out of the way. Hardy. Now, who are all these confused guys? These are these are the Kentucky boys. They are whooped out. We're going to we're going to put the Kentucky boys back here in. Um, reserve we're gonna bring Walker up here and put him on this fence line let's spread him out Walker you're going to protect the left flank um, Hampton your boys are just about whooped out too I'm gonna to put you behind Walker you're gonna support Walker as best you can with what little you've got left uh, who is this right here? These are some of our Bowen. Where do I want you? Bowen, we're just going to keep you in reserve as well. You're pretty which, you're pretty well whipped out too. Halls is whipped out too, so I'm going to put him in reserve behind Cheatham. Now, we've got other new fresh divisions from our reinforcements back here. So we've got Grigsby's division. I'm going to put him right here. We're going to be ready to use him over on the right. Then we've got Breckenridge's division. Oh, McCullough's division. McCullough, I'm going to have you over here on the far left. Who else do we have? Breckenridge. He's the full army of Kentucky there. Hello, let's get you up here. Clark, let's get you up here as well. Not sure who all these guys are. I think these are conscripts here. Yeah, these are all conscripts. We'll use them where we need them. General Jackson, why don't you come closer, sir? General Breckenridge, you come closer too. Who do these guys belong to? This is... Okay, this is his artillery. Let's bring them up here like this. Get them where they can do some good. All right. I think we'll go ahead and get this, get this started. Maybe they will come after me for once and let get give me a chance to catch my let this army catch its breath here. Yeah, we're very we're just very disrupted right now.
Just going to try to let everybody rest, let everybody get reorganized. <clears throat> Pardon me. Man, that was costly. That was a very costly battle. Incredibly costly battle for us. Okay, Walker, start swinging your boys around like that, please. McCullough, start bringing your boys out, too. Hampton, bring your boys up like this. full-size brigades over there. Halls, I may need to start bringing you this way. Oh, this is a costly battle. start backing out coming right at me. I don't think we're going to be able to hold here. We'll see. He 
He's right up on my parapets. Man, the losses they can take are just staggering. How are we doing on the right over here? I'm worried about my right. Okay. Preston, you start doing a fighting withdrawal too. That's fine. I can afford to give up ground over there. I can't let him breach my center, though. He's certainly trying, that's for sure. He's already gotten up on my parapets right there, but he's lost a thousand men. That brigade has lost 50% of their men, and they're still fighting. He's got a good foothold on my parapets, though. Okay, you're gonna have to get you're gonna have to come forward and get in this battle. You're gonna have to come forward too. God, he's lost five almost six hundred men. We're gonna have to back him out. You're gonna have to back out. He's got a full strength brigade right there. What are you doing? You're supposed to be backing out, not charging. Manny, back out. Oh, my God. What is he doing? He's, he's charging a full strength brigade. Not good. Okay, you got to get up there and help. You got to get up there and help, too, please. You're going to have to get over here and help. Everybody's going to have to help over here. What are you doing? You're supposed to be firing on them. Did we just capture that brigade? Manny, back out of there, please. Back out. Back out. Looks like Matt Daniel gets a perk. Pick it. Get up here and get on that parapet, sir. We got to get that parapet back. How are we doing on the right over here? Are we holding them at bay, please? Lomax is doing well. Lomax, just hold the line, please. Just hold the line. We got to get this parapet back. Oh, 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 McCullough. They're coming at you, sir. Trapier, pillow, get prepared, Randall, attack them, Rosa, attack them, you 
you attack them too, please. <sighs> Did we fight off this attack right here? I don't know. Daniel. You got to stay in there. Run off that cavalry unit, please. Oh, we just lost that brigade, too. You got to, you're supposed to be getting on those parapets. Don't think we're doing so hot over here. Lomax has lost a lot of men. Ay, ay, ay. Ever, oh God, he's McGowan has definitely lost a lot of men. I'm I'm pulling him way back. He's lost a lot of men. This is we're tough. It's tough over here. Fighting withdrawal, please. Just start backing up. I don't know. I think this is way too costly. It's getting very, very costly for us. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Cancel that. Cancel that. I think we're finally starting to make progress here in the center. Daniel, I told you to back off. Third time I've told you. Well, looks like we're doing a saber charge here. <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to work. <laughs> That's probably not going to work very well. Okay, get out of there, please. You did your saber charge. Now retreat. Well, he managed to make he managed to break somebody. But I think he just got captured. No, he didn't get captured. But Lord, get up there and help him, please. Just get up there and help him. Did he did we just lose that I think we just lost that Ah we we lost that entire cavalry brigade. Oh my goodness. This is not going well. I think we may have bitten off more than we could chew here. I mean, I can't beat these guys, but the cost is just going to be absolutely horrendous. We should have stayed out of Kentucky. We should have stayed out of Kentucky. Absolutely should have stayed out of Kentucky. He's got some full strength brigades coming up over here too. Oh, man. Just hold the line, boys. Hold the line. Hold the line on the left if you can. Oh, man, that was very costly. Very, very costly. Okay, you got to just back on out of there. Just back on out of there. You just try and hold the line, too, please. Did we run them off here in the center? Maybe. Maybe. Iron discipline, please. Do 
Baylor, get up here and get on that parapet, please. They just keep coming. Fighting withdrawal over here, boys. Fighting withdrawal. Get over here and help him. It's very thin over here on the left. Just go help him out, please. All right, we fought him off on the right. Well, I think we fought him off on in the center, maybe. Just maybe. Uh, Pickett, what are you doing? Are you doing a Pickett's charge? Oh my goodness. I don't know who he's attacking, but I hope he's I hope he knows what he's doing. Please attack them. I've already had one brigade surrender. I don't need to lose another one. Picket. Picket, get out of there. Oh, what is he doing? Picket, you got to get out of there. Picket, Picket, get out of there. I can't. Ah, he just broke. Oh, my goodness. He was a full strength brigade, too, and he just broke on me. How are we doing over here? You got to you got to fall back. Just keep falling back. Just buy us some time on the left, boys. Just keep buying us some time, please. Keep buying us some time over here. goodness just line up and try to face in the general direction <laughs> of the trouble <laughs> who's, who's this is Hardy's division Hardy I know you're exhausted from the fight yesterday but I'm going to have to bring you over here my man you're going to have to guard the left they are coming in on us on the left. And you're all we got. Hey, good. Come on up here with your artillery, please, sir. Let's bring that artillery back, too, please. We're trying to get back up on our parapets. Once you get on those parapets, sir. We're still holding them off over here. Pillow has died. Hindman is losing men. Where's he at? Now they're trying to flank us over here. You turn that way, please. Anderson, back up. Randall, let's back you up as well. Okay, Hardy's getting in position to try and guard our left from that core that's coming in over there. We're still 
We're still getting successive waves in from this core. They've just, their weapons are just so good. They've got those repeating Henry rifles. They are just tearing us apart. They're definitely getting better, better kill numbers than we are. Um, and I can win this battle, but with battles like this, I'm definitely going to lose the war. I can't win the war winning battles like this. I just can't. With the weapons that they have, I can't be, I cannot be the offensive attacking army. I can only, I have to defend against them and let them come in at me. I can't go after them. It's too costly. It's just way too costly. I think we finally fought them off this corner over here. Daniel, you're exhausted. Hindman's exhausted. Anderson is tired too. Maxi Gregg, what have you got? Maxi Gregg, let's... Just hold the line there, Maxie. Oh, your flank's getting hit. Back off, back off, back off. Rosie, just back away. He's trying to come at my flank. Oh. Hardy, get your boys over there. I need you. I think I think the best thing for me to do is start withdrawing because let me look at the numbers here. Let me look at the numbers. I've lost thirty one thousand men. He's lost thirty two thousand men. Where it's it's even except I can't I can't accept even even numbers. I can't win if I lose but I can't win this war if I lose thirty two thousand men. I can't. I can win this battle. I can slog this out and lose 20,000 20, more men and win this battle. But it's just not worth it. We're going to have to withdraw. We're absolutely going to have to get out of here and get back to Tennessee. Oh, I hate doing that. But we've got to. We've got to get out of here. This is too costly. All right. I got to start backing everybody out. Uh oh man. Okay, get out of here boys. Just get out of here. Okay, who's over this artillery division? Army of Tanucky. Start trying to get back up the road, please. Just get out of here. We'll try to do a um Yeah, let them let them get on out. And I'm going to start slowly backing these everybody up. Walker, start bringing your boys back. Start backing them out. We got to get out. We got to get off this battlefield. We've lost way too many men. This was absolutely the bloodiest battle that the South has ever fought, for sure. This was definitely our uh, our Gettysburg here. This was absolutely our Gettysburg. We could not. This was too much. Way too much. Okay. Let's see if we can escape. Let's see if we can escape out of here. Who is this general over here? This is General General Pillow. He's killed. He's he's killed in action. We lost General Pillow. Let's get his headquarters out. Hardy, let's start skirting you around this way, Hardy. You gotta you gotta get on out of here too. We're going to hold the line on the right while our left tries to start withdrawing. Then we'll hold the line on the left while our right withdraws. 
What a disaster. What an absolute disaster this battle was. Well, I basically made the same mistake General Lee made with uh, Gettysburg. Uh, you know, the South, the South cannot invade. They, they cannot fight a, a war of aggression. They cannot be the aggressive power. They have to sit back at, behind their defenses on ground that they control and choose and fight defensive battles. The South, with the, with the limitations on their numbers, the fact that they just cannot afford losses like this, just cannot be the aggressive army. They just can't do it. Okay, we're trying to get out of here. At the rate we're going, I think the uh, game is going to let me go ahead and withdraw because I think I'm we're, we're pretty orderly. We're keeping them at bay, so I think the game's probably going to let me withdraw out of this battle. Yeah, I've had we've had enough. We have had enough. This was a a major strategic defeat for us. Major strategic defeat. It's going to be really costly, and it may cost us the war. This battle here may be the turning point, especially over in Tennessee and Kentucky. We lost a lot of men. Way more men than we should have lost. Well, we're going to be licking our wounds on this one for a while. The North, the North can afford these losses. We cannot afford it. We just can't. Okay, let me back off so I can see how my retreats are going. He seems to be letting me go. McCullough, start backing your boys out too, please. Just get on out of there. Get your boys out of there, McCullough. Uh, where are my where's my artillery at? Stuart, start getting your artillery back up the road, please. Everybody needs to be getting out of here. Okay, they let us withdraw. We lost 32,000 men. They lost 33,000. That's absolutely even numbers, which means that's a defeat for us. That's a very costly defeat for us. Oh, my Lord, that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. We can't, we cannot do that again. Cannot, we can't do it again. We've just got to stay out of Kentucky. Okay, well, I guess this is probably a good point to stop with this episode. I'm going to have to go pout a little bit and lick my wounds. Uh, learned, learned a valuable lesson there. I think I learned the same lesson General Lee learned in Gettysburg. Um, can't be doing that. Cannot be paying those those valuable lives just to try to prove a point. It's just uh, we can't do it. Cannot do it. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody for hanging out with me. All of my new friends that I met tonight. It was nice to meet you guys. Asla and, and Fragzar and all of you other guys that hung out with me. I appreciate it. If you haven't already checked out my YouTube channel, you can find this series on my YouTube channel, MechaWatt on YouTube. MechaWatt on YouTube. Look for me there. And you can follow this series all the way back from episode number one. All right. Well, look, guys, have a good night, and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.